So congratulations on getting access to this video course where I am going to walk you through on how to build your list virally on autopilot after you have set everything up. All right, so this is video number one, which is the introduction, and I'm gonna give you a quick overview of this video course so you know exactly what to expect, and that way all the missing pieces of the puzzle are able to be placed together once you know exactly what to expect. Now, before I jump right in, I wanna talk about mindset, because a lot of times when it comes to building your list, a lot of people think, I wanna get the biggest list as I can. Now, I really don't want you to think about the biggest list. I really want you to think about is conversions. And what I mean by that is having a list that actually converts into sales. Now, there are different types of lists, which I'll talk about in video number one, but really focus on conversions, not how big your list is, if that makes sense. Now let's talk about a quick overview of the video course so that you can kind of get a bird's eye view of what's inside. So obviously this is video number one, video number two, we're gonna talk about the different types of customer lists. There are actually two major types and I'll talk about that. And we're really gonna focus on one particular type. Video number three, we're gonna talk about the highest converting list and how it works. So we're gonna basically build upon each other. So make sure that you watch all the videos step-by-step step, videos one through nine. And of course, video number four, we're gonna talk about the formula for the high value thank you offers, which fits into the overall formula. And video number five, we're gonna talk about finding vendors to piggyback on. Video number six, we're gonna talk about vendor and buyer analysis. Number seven, we're gonna talk about creating quality thank you offers. And of course, video number eight, we're gonna talk about building a list. So after everything we've talked about in the previous areas, we're gonna talk about actual building the list as far as vendors go. And as you're waiting for vendors to say yes, we will talk about building a list as an affiliate for video number nine. All right, so now that you kind of understand the basics, let's jump right in and talk about the different types of lists. Okay, so welcome back. This is video number two, and we're gonna talk about the two different types of customer lists. Now, while we're focusing on just one particular path, I really wanna talk about two major types of lists because I really want you to get into that mindset of understanding why there are two different lists and why we are really focusing on just one particular one. So the two major ones are the free list versus the customer list. So a free list, let me explain the differences. A free list simply means that the people that are subscribed to your list have not purchased a product. So if you kind of imagine if you get onto a landing page or a squeeze page and they're asking for your name and your email and that's it you're not buying anything. That is basically what a free list is. Now, typically these lists are a little bit harder to convert because people do not know you. They have not really put their trust and faith in you. You know, if somebody subscribes and they've purchased from you before, that would be consistent of more of a customer type subscriber. But we're talking about people that don't know you they've subscribed, they've gotten something for free, and that's it. So in this case, you kind of have to push quantity of lists. Instead of focusing on quality and conversions, you really have to focus on numbers. So it's a numbers game. So in, instead of having a list of, let's say, 100 buyers, you have to have a list of a 1,000 or a couple thousand. Now, the second type of list is a buyer's list. This means that the subscriber on the list have actually purchased a product. So say, for example, somebody lands on your sales page, you're selling them something like a $7 or $17 item or whatever price point it is. They buy it or add it to your list. So that is basically a buyer's list. 
Now, these types of lists tend to be very high converting because they have proven that they are serious enough to whip out their wallets or their credit cards and buy a product. So think about it. Which really would, would you like to have? Would you rather have the free list or would you rather have the customer list? So that really depends on what you're selling, but the majority of times you will want the buyer's list. And that's really what we're going to be focusing on in this particular video course. Now, the question begs, how do you build a viral buyer's list without selling a product? Because selling a product, that takes time. And that's not necessarily getting it to build virally and getting other people to build it for you. Now, that is the secret behind this method, is you get other people to actually build the list for you. Yes, it does take time, and yes, there is some work involved, but this is the closest thing to getting to that. So with that said, let's move on to video number three. Okay, so welcome back. This is video number three, and we're going to talk about the highest converting list and how it works. So we talked about in the previous video that this is the buyer's list. A list of 100 people is worth way more than a list of 2,000 free subscribers. So think about it because these are people who actually know you. They have purchased a product, somebody else's product, but they still know you and they have seen you on the thank you page. Now, I'm going to talk more about the formula, how it works and all that in just a minute. So you'll be able to see everything in a bird's eye view. So how do you build a list without selling a product? That doesn't really make sense, does it? But after I show you, this will definitely make more sense. So the way you do this is by piggybacking on people with products, so vendors. And here's how this mind map flows. Basically, this is how it works. Basically, somebody purchases a product from a vendor. And I'll give you an example in just a minute. But they purchase that product and it's not you or anything. It's a vendor. And you've worked out a deal with that vendor who is selling something very, very specific. So in other words, if you approach somebody who is selling, let's say, for example, uh, some sort of recipe book, then you might want to sell something related to them, not directly in competition with them, but specifically related so that it actually helps that person. So after you have done this, the, you basically will have some sort of high value product that you're offering to that vendor's customers. And they, the vendor has agreed to place your high value product to give it to their customers for free on their thank you page. So think about it. If somebody lands on the vendor's thank you page, they are ready to download the product that they just purchased, right? And they also see your high value product as well. So basically they are getting the first impression of after I purchase, I see the vendor's product and I see your high value product. So what does that do when they're in that buying mode? They see your the vendor and they see your name or your brand. So on the vendors, thank you page, basically you deliver your high value product. It's not the same as a lead magnet or anything like that. This is a super high value product that somebody is actually willing to pay for. You're just giving it away for free and they subscribe and you deliver the goods. Now, you don't necessarily get a monetary exchange in this case, but in this case, it's a win-win situation for the vendor and the buyer. Now, the reality is that no vendor out there will be willing to share their list with you. By all means, I will say that up front, no vendor out there is going to share their list with you. So how do you overcome this? How do you go about this? And how do you do this? Well, you must create what we call a high value offer. So in this case, this is this right here. So that's basically how that formula works. Now I'm going to basically show you more in depth how this works, but 
all that means is that your focus is really building a very high value offer that the vendor is willing to put on their thank you page. So in other words, in order to get the vendor to say yes, you really have to focus on the formula of building high value thank you offers, which we'll, we're going to talk about right now in video number four. 